and hello everyone, welcome to the next episode, hopefully it will be the final episode, but I mean, if not, we'll keep going, and we'll try and determine our next strategy, we'll probably just build up an army and, you know, conquer the surrounding region, in vengeance of our lack of victory, but yes, we are hoping to get to our victory during this uh, session, so yes, we are going to try and get the historic victory for the Mughals, and our Mughal Empire is actually massive, like we've taken all of India. The only thing that might stop us is the English, if they do get a hold of the technology and build their lovely little um, building. You know what building that is, the trading company. Uh, because then they'll get the option to come over here and start messing our stuff up, and I don't really want that to happen. It'd be very sad. But it would be very thematic, so you know. But we are only just entering the 1700s, so, you know, fingers crossed, things do go our way. I'm gonna hit next turn. I'm pretty sure it only advances by two years or three years from this point on, but I might be mistaken. No, it's still four years. Curses! Maybe it's from the 1750s onwards. Darn it! I'm very there, though. We've got lots of piracy going on. Ooh, naughty. That is very not good. How did this place not have a harbor? Right, I'm actually going to stick you over here. We've got corn. Is that right? That's a very good tile. Wow. Amazing. So yes, we've only got a number of turns to get to uh, 75,000 or more. However, we are actually possibly going to get a... Um, a uh, great artist. So wouldn't that be just fantastic? Hmm. Hmm. I just need to make sure we can trade, so we've already looked at you. Um, we're looking at you now. Fortification. Why not? We're not going to give anything to her. Oh, no. Hmm. So if you've got enough money to make a difference, I'll do it. So if I've been... Oh, you're a little bit far ahead, but you know what? Let's do it. 70... Like, if we win, you know, it'll be worth it in the end, right? You state craft. You know, because we're very... We're generous gods. You still don't have anything, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, hopefully we will get this uh, great artist. Because that's what I really want. And if not, then that's going to be a bit of a bugger. It'd be a shame to be a bother, in fact. Now, how are we doing for our civics? Well, we've got regulated trade, we're on vassalage. Slavery is actually, I mean, I'm not going to say good, but it is doing good things for us. I don't really want to change because it's going to mean a turn of not doing anything. Um, what is this? Plus one happiness. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that one. Send hearty congratulations. For the, for the marriage. So that was a marriage between, uh, what is it, two Islamic families between the Chinese Empire and our empire. And they were definitely not happy about that. I assure you. Alright, why are you on wealth? You know what, if anything, if you're going to go for that, go for culture. Oh. Right, mausoleum, can we finish? Yes. Boom. So we're slowly chipping away at this. Getting to 75,000 is a stretch at this stage. But yeah, getting a great artist would be all that we really need to actually succeed here. So, we need to keep working towards that. We're going to keep building buildings anyways. Trying to get our uh, culture up in any case. Uh, what do we want here? <clears throat> Weaver. Yes. So we're advancing, yeah, very slowly, unfortunately. Well, actually, not really. I mean, we're advancing at a pretty, pretty good rate. I mean, we've got a lot of cities with a lot of culture. I mean, you know, we've we've got a very good amount of culture coming in per turn. All right, you, Holy Roman, Academia, go for it. Why not? Duchy of Poland? No. Oh, actually, I might want to trade some silk for some cotton. No, oh, you, yeah. I mean, he rightfully demands all that, of course. Right, you can have printing, so I've already given that to someone. Are you got any money? No. Bring out your dead. Alright. <clears throat> That's good. So 60%. 
Yeah, 60% chance of getting the great artist. Six turns. Oh, might not be able to do it. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a tough one, unfortunately. Why are you still building those? No, I have I have literally no idea why the city keeps building random stuff. I'm just gonna queue up a bit. Kalampur. Oh, cool. We finally got Islam down here. Nice. So yes, we will be the richest and most cultured of all the Islamic states. Well, of all the states in the world. Oh, volcanic eruption. Well, that's a shame. You know, we could always go for the culture victory, if anything. I mean, you know, we're doing all right. We've got plenty of wonders. Yeah, nice, nice fort there. I mean, what was that going to defend against? Ah, mmm. Delicious Milo. It has gone cold since, unfortunately. Right, how are we doing? Oh, we are almost there, baby. Baby, come back. Honestly, if we just rush a few more buildings because of our unique ability, we might just get there. Got to get in there, you know? Really do. Oh, that weave is actually, yeah, five turns away. Why not? Rush it now. Get it now. That bank, ours. That pharmacy, ours. These few cities still need a little bit of time, though. I don't really want to rush things in Delhi, though. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe I should. Oh, we're gonna need a bit more money. Cause yeah, we are running that deficit there. So three turns to hopefully get a great artist. If we don't get a great artist, we're not gonna get it. That's what I'm gonna say. I might actually start going for this. That'll be a big chunk of culture, won't it? Ah. Uh, yeah, get a smokehouse. That's a sufficiently small item. Yeah, walls. Uh, what about you? Let's say... Yeah, barracks. Who's gonna stop me now? Uh, what is this? Tolerate... Tolerate? Subtract... Oh, that's a lot of money. Could ignore the heresy. Tolerate the heresy. No, ignore the heresy. Just ignore it. It can do its own thing. Alright, we are giving away a lot of good techs here. I mean, we're literally just trying to cling on, you know? There you go. That's something. Alright, three turns, two turns. Oh, it's got, it's got to be a great, great artist. Please let it be a great artist. I mean, I know there's there's very small percentage chances. It's like it's like a combat roll. At this stage, that's exactly what it is. It's just a combat roll. Can we rush any of these now? Please, please. Okay, you rush that. You rush that. You rush that. Yep, rush the harbor because that's probably going to actually help that city out. See, everybody is sacrificing themselves now, so that in the future, you know, their their children and their children's children will be able to be the great kings of the world. You know, that's that's the idea. We've got a long-term plan. Oh my god, now it's switched. We are gonna do this thing. This is happening. This is happening. It switches at 17.30. Okay, that's great. Yes! Oh, that's awesome. Hello. Unless somebody screws up a plan, which they might. No, you're gonna give me both of these. Buddy. Alright, fine. We don't have to be friends. It's fine. Yeah, we've so got this. Right, I might just calm down on the sacrificing people thing. For now. Oh well, apart from these cities, these cities have been waiting forever to do. Which they're all still sort of, you know, taking their time. Are we able to sacrifice for the city in a few turns. Good. Right, now we've either got a great artist, or a great prophet, or a great scientist, or heck, even a, a great, uh, what was the other one? Hmm. Was it a great merchant? No, great engineer was the other one. Let's hope it was the great artist. Yes! Oh, it is here. My friends, I believe we're going to do this right now. 
Is it right now? No, but it's very it's very soon. All right, let's push it out. What here, or just do it here? Hmm. Why not here? Yeah. There we go. Let's claim an extra mountain. Boom! There we go. Right. Well, all that slavery yeah, is, uh, I mean, it's terrible. But now we are actually going to switch to monarchy of centralism of clergy. It's going to take three turns of revolution, and I know that's a long time, actually. That's a very long time. We're, tra We're even going to become isolationist. So four turns of revolution... I think is that actually gonna yeah we'll be able to get it so yeah I know this is actually kind of pushing it but I'm gonna do it and you guys are gonna hate me for it because it's actually not gonna work out or anything I'm gonna go to cast system as well it's all gonna be great or should we just be secular And manorialism, yeah. Civil liberties. We're a bit far away from that, unfortunately. Clergy. Sacrism. Now, it will be the ultimate Islamic state. How about. <laughs> Islamic. Okay, that's not the right word to use. Okay, there we go. Four turns of revolution. That's my challenge to myself. We're gonna survive four turns of revolution. Can we do it? What's the bat? We just get the event, and it'll be like. Uh, colonials are on their way. Uh, no. How about no? I know, I'm really pushing it, aren't I? Well, it's, it's fun to do this, you know, to go out, you know, sort of in this sense. Because we're making the ultimate government for our people. We've got a stable monarchy. We'll be a central system. Or centralist system. I also need to get rid of that goddamn archer. He's been there for like centuries. Just die! This is a coup attempt. I'm putting it down! Putting the god forsaken thing down. <laughs> There we go. Alright, and then one more turn of anarchy. Because this is our revolution. This is our great, you know. We are changing society and becoming a, a benevolent society. After all these years of, of a great and terrible power. Oh, we don't want you here. We really don't want you here at all. Go away, man. And there it is. We're at a revolution. We're even making less of a deficit because of it. Right. And now we will move towards our victory. So look at that. That's the amount of culture we need. We will probably just get there in like three turns. This is great. This is actually awesome. How are we doing? Yeah, oh yeah, we got this. We've got this. I don't even need this culture on. We'll get there next turn. Practically. Alright, we can actually switch Delhi back to that now. Let's do what you want. And here it is! Or maybe it's one more turn after. But, aha! Finally, we get another victory after a while. I can't remember what our last victory was. But we've got there. Oh yeah, we've done it. So I think once we get to 1750, that's when we'll get the victory. So for now, we just relax, you know? Our people can relax now because, you know, they've, they've got a better society for it. I mean, it's a caste system, so what can you do? <laughs> So what are we? Are we one of the wealthiest? Nah, definitely not. 
I mean, I'd say we should be. Probably even increase our science rate. Yeah, there we go. So civil liberties. You know, I could probably change to individualism and secularism now. Kind of like that idea, actually. Like, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, we are isolationist. Like, who needs the world? We are the world. We are the pinnacle of just cultural perfection. Oh, we need one more turn anyways. Okay. Oh. There it is. Oh, this is amazing. So this has been a very fun Let's Play to bring to you guys. Playing as both the, uh, the Tamils, who actually succeeded in conquering pretty much the entirety of India. Oh, wow, look at that. We could even go conquer them next. Well, if we were to, you know, live longer. But there it is. There we go. Historic victory. Very, very happy with that. So let's play out from the start. We'll just sort of rush the early game because, of course, we weren't in the early world. We started at 300 BC. And what a world we've created. We've actually built so much, you know, together. Here we go, we're coming down to, and now we're founding our first cities. There we are at the bottom. So we started off founding those two cities, and then we attacked India and conquered one of our cities, and then they stuck a city there, and we conquered it because they didn't actually have anyone defending it. But then we did lose it to uh, a bunch of barbarians early on. Wow, look at that Roman Empire. It looks very nice, actually. Very pretty. Um, yes, eventually, yeah, the barbarians did raise it, so we had to go in there and actually found a new city there. So India was very split. We had the just normal Indians at the top, Tamils at the bottom, Roman Empire collapsing, Greek Empire, the Seleucids or whatever. Actually, the Byzantines formed, and yet the Greeks were still around. That's interesting. That forms a very because then you've got like the original Greeks versus the sort of half Greek Byzantines, well, half Greek, you know, transitioning Greek, as you call it. And then they died anyways. And so there's us, yes, Tamils. We spent most of the game being peaceful, but eventually we did get an army together and we decided we'd had enough, we would go and conquer India. And we managed to do it. It actually happened, you know? It was crazy good. And then China collapsed a few times. What if Korea became a superpower in this game, you know? It tends to happen, you know, in, in this version of the mod. But yeah, there's us conquering the rest of India. And we had a little bit of time to revel in that as well. Uh, and then we went independent on our coastal city down here until we conquered that back. And then the Mughals arose as the Delhi Sultanate. And, well, we kind of just messed everything up as them. And then the uh, Tamils collapsed. The Tibetans took a city. You know, they took the sneak peek city over here. It was a bit annoying. But eventually we, we did take it back. China tried attacking us as well. But we took, we pushed them back, and yeah, look, we've reclaimed the entirety of the Indian Peninsula before the actual conquest of the Mughals, which happened in the 1500s, and the Babur, you know, and Aurangzeb, and all of those great Mughal emperors. Um, so yes, there it is, beautiful. And then Iran popped up. We didn't have any wars with Iran. I was very surprised. You know, we had another war with China, but it, they didn't bring anything to the party, so it's kind of sad, actually. I was, I was looking forward to a bit of a challenge towards the end, but yeah, once you're left alone, you can just build up. That's why China always tends to get ahead in this game, because people just leave China alone, they build up, and then boom, they're suddenly a superpower. But yeah, there's us, and then we built all of our wonders, and we got sufficient culture, we went into a massive revolution, and yeah, we got the ultimate government, and boom, there it is, 1750. We won the game. We're probably going to get Dan Quayle again, because, you know, we always get Dan Quayle. Um, so there's us at the top. Wow. We did well. Life expectancy. We were fourth. Wow, we actually had an average life expectancy of, uh, what, 70? Wow. We got pretty good stats. I mean, soldiers was a bit low, yeah. But, uh, you know, 11th isn't still too terrible. We had the highest gold uh, income. We almost had the highest production. Highest crop yield. Uh, land area is the second in the world. I could only assume Russia might have been the top, but, you know, I mean, for what we get, I mean, look, we even had Bangladesh, like, goddamn. Population seventh of the world, yeah, because we kept sacrificing our population. I have no doubt we would have come first otherwise. Um, approval rate, well, eight, yeah, I mean, you know, not many people.
people liked us. We declared a few wars, but that was all out of necessity. And yeah, and of course, it, it, I actually did pretty well in this. Wow, I'm doing the worst of that. The top city is Delhi. Wow, Kyoto. I did pretty good too. But we had the best city in the world. Look at that, all these wonders. We built all these as well as the Mughals. That was great. And the University of Sankor was just the bonus we needed. That was huge. So there it is. Oh no, we got Augustus Caesar. Look at that. You can tell that waiting to the end of the game, you get absolutely no score. But if you get a historic victory, we are Augustus Caesar. Oh yeah. So there we go. That is now recorded. Forever to be shown as one of our victories, one of our great victories. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little series. It hasn't been a very long one, actually. But, yes, I hope you've enjoyed. And, of course, let me know down in the comments who you'd like to see me play as next. I was thinking the next game has to probably involve America somehow. You know, the big the big USA. So I think we will try playing as America in the next game. I, I might just start from 1700. Uh, and plays them straight away because that'll just be a really fun way to do it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave your suggestions down below. Let me know in the comments. And of course, leave a like, subscribe to our channel, blah, blah. You know all the extra stuff. And I will see you guys next time.